To use Microsoft Paint, first you open it by going to the Start menu at the bottom left of your screen. I'm sorry you can't see it on this tutorial, but it's at the bottom left. Click on Start, and then click All Programs, and then Accessories, and then find Paint, and click on that, and Paint will open. To make a shape, you'll use the Line tool. You can make a thin line or a thick line. A thin line looks like this, and a thick line looks like that. I'm going to make a medium-sized line. To make the line, you click where you want to start, and then you drag to where you want to stop, and you let go of the mouse button, and then the line will be there. If I want to make it a different color, I can select the colors from down at the bottom. If I'm making a line, I need it to have an arrow on both ends. I can still use the line tool for that. I'd start here and I'd draw one side of the arrow and then draw the other side of the arrow and then connect them at the bottom and I can fill it in with the paintbrush, I'm sorry, with the bucket tool. Right there. So, and then I'll do that to the other side because this is a line. To make an angle, um, I'll make this one with a thicker line, and I'll make an obtuse angle. To make an angle, you draw one line, so that's one side of the angle, and then without moving the mouse, click there again to start the other line. So here's my obtuse angle. But an angle must have a vertex, so you need to draw the point for that. To do that, you can use the paintbrush tool right here and select the biggest round brush and go to your vertex. Now, I have picked a line that's a little bit bigger, so the paintbrush isn't quite big enough. If I want to make that bigger, then I just go around in a circle a little bit more until I can see the point, like that. And if I decide that I don't like that, I can use the eraser or the undo tool. If you go to edit, undo, it'll undo the last thing that you did. I think you can do that about three times before it doesn't let you do it anymore. So I didn't quite like that and I'm not sure that I can get it the way I want it when I'm close up. It gets too big. So I'm going to go and zoom in. If you go to view, zoom, large size, you can get a close-up of your picture and you can scroll to where you want to be. So I want to be here and then I can make my point like I want it. And then to go back out I go to view, zoom, normal size and that's a point that looks better than the one I had before. Since it's an angle it still needs arrows on both sides so I'll draw those. And one over here. And I'll fill them in. And there's a little spot up there that I might have to zoom in to get. I'll try to get it like this. Oh, I got it. Now, if I decide that I've done everything in black so far, and I decide, well, I want one of them to be a color, still using the bucket tool, I can go down and pick my color. So I'll pick purple. And then I take the bucket tool to the drawing that I made and I click and it changes it to purple. Once you have all of your figures drawn and arranged however you want them, if you want to rearrange them, use the selection tool. So maybe I want the line to be at the bottom. You click and drag to make the rectangle. And then when it's got this funny arrow cursor, and then you can move it wherever you want. So I'll move it down here. When you have all of your figures drawn, then you need to save it. Go to File, Save As, and save it to your network drive. I'm doing this on my home computer, so I can't show you how to do that. But you can ask one of your classmates, or you can ask me how to save it to your network drive if you forget how to do that.